Hello, in this video we are going to evaluate without making use of calculator 9 to the power of 5 minus 9 to the power of 6. So we have 9 to the power of 5 minus, this is 9 to the power of 6, we can write it as 9 to the power of 5 plus 1. So let's consider this identity. If you have a to the power of n plus m, this equals a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So we apply this identity right here and we are going to have 9 to the power of 5 minus 9 to the power of 5 times 9 to the power of 1. So we have 9 to the power of 5 here. We have 9 to the power of 5 here. We can factor that out. We have 9 to the power of 5 into, if you divide this by 9 to the power of 5, we are simply going to have 1 minus, if you divide the whole of this by 9 to the power of 5, we are simply going to have 9 to the power of 1. So we proceed again. We have 9 to the power of 5 into 1 minus 9 to the power of 1 is 9. So we go again. We have 9 to the power of 5 into 1 minus 9 is negative 8. So we can as well write this as 9 to the power of 5 into 8. Then we have multiplying negative 1. So we have it as 9 here is a perfect square. So we can have it as 3 to the power of 2. Then we have all to the power of 5. Then we have into 8. Then we have into negative 1. So let's make use of this other identity. If you have a to the power of n, all to the power of m, this equals a to the power of n times m. You multiply this out, so we are simply going to multiply this out. So we are simply going to get 3 to the power of 10, then we have into 8, then if you multiply with this negative 1, we are simply going to have negative here. So what do we do? What is the value for 3 to the power of 10? So the value for 3 to the power of 10 is simply 590.49. So you have negative into 590.49, then we have times 8. So let's multiply this out. We can have it as 590, then we have 0, 0, then we have plus 49, or multiplying what? 8. So what we are going to do next is, we multiply this by 8, then we multiply 49 by 8. So we have negative outside, 590, 0, 0 times 8, we are simply going to have 472, then we have 0, 0, and 0, plus 49 times 8, we are simply going to have 3, 9, 2. So if you add 472, 0, 0, plus 392, we are simply going to get negative into 472, 3, 9, 2. Then if you multiply this out with this negative here, you are simply going to get negative 4, 7, 2, 3, 9, 2. So this becomes the final answer for, remember we had 9 power 5 minus 9 power 6. So this becomes negative 4, 7, 2, 3, 9, 2. So this is it for this particular problem. But we have another problem that we are simply also going to evaluate. How much more if we have 9 power 5 plus 9 power 6? So we are simply going to make use of the same method. We are going to have 9 power 5 plus 9 power 5 plus 1. So we make use of this identity as well. If you have a power n plus m, this equals 
a power n times a power m. So we apply this identity right here. We are simply going to get 9 power 5 plus 9 power 5 times 9 power 1. So we have 9 power 5 here. We have 9 power 5 here. We factor that out. We are simply going to get 9 power 5 into. If you divide this by 9 power 5, we are going to get 1. Then you have plus. If you divide this by 9 power 5, we are simply going to get 9 power 1. So we go again. Then we have 9 power 5 into 1 plus 9 power 1 is simply 9. Then we go again. We are going to have 9 power 5 into 1 plus 9 is simply we are going to have 10. So what do we do? We can as well reduce this. 9 here is a perfect square. So we can have it as 3 power 2 or power 5 and we have into 10. So we make use of this other identity as well. If you have a power n or power m, this equals a power n times m. So you are simply going to multiply this out. And what we are going to get is 3 power 2 times 5. We have 10 into 10. So what next? What is the value for 3 power 10? Remember what we had before? 3 power 10 is simply equals to 5, 90, 4, 9. So we make use of this right here. So we are simply going to get 5, 90, 4, 9. Then we have times 10. So if you multiply this out, so we are simply going to multiply this out. Let's make use of the other method that we used before. We can have this as 5, 19, 0, 0, plus 49 times 10. So this will multiply 10 and this will multiply 10. So we have 5, 90, 0, 0, 0. If you multiply by 10, then you have plus 49 times 10 is 490. So if you add these two, what you are simply going to get is 590. Then you have 490. So this becomes the answer for if you have 9 power 5 plus 9 power 6. So this is equals to 590. 490. So you can as well compare this to when we had 9 power 5 minus 9 power 6, which actually gave us negative 472392. So that's it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.